here, we're here to tell you about our idea. And that's a lovely song that Parker's playing, and that's a lovely enough piano that he's playing it on. But there's just one thing that bothers me about it. The paint job. It's so boring, it's so uninspired. It's generic like every other piano in the world. There's nothing special about that. If a piano's a machine that creates such a diverse array of beautiful sounds, then why doesn't it try and convey that with its appearance? But what if there were a piano that could? What if pianos could be just as enjoyable to look at as they are to listen to? Well, Logan and I had just such a thought. Now back in January, we found a piano similar to that at a thrift store for only $50. It was grossly out of tune, but it was still playable enough. We couldn't resist the idea of buying it for just 50 bucks, but we knew we had to do something special with it. We knew we had an opportunity to give this old piano a personality of its own. See, we think there's a certain beauty in inanimate objects that have character. They don't think, they don't speak, and they don't move, but they can still move us. And so with that philosophy in mind, we created this. The very first splatter piano. It's an idea we came up with ourselves, and uh, it's something we're very proud of, and not only that, but it's something that we want to share with the whole world. Which is why we've created the Splatter Piano Project. The Splatter Piano Project would start here on Kickstarter with you. We'll take your donations to fund a new line of Splatter Pianos. Our goal for this initial event is to do six more of these. This money would finance the paint, the transportation, and the pianos themselves, which average about $150 each. Heavily used, of course. After we have what we need, we'll paint each one. Some will do ourselves, and some will be done by friends of ours, and some will be done by volunteer artists from the community. But the important part is that each one will uh, have its own personality. And the final stage, of course, will be to auction off the pianos. We will sell them not only as instruments, but also as works of art. We we'll market them at local art auctions, and with the profit, we hope to continue the cycle and buy more paint, more pianos, better pianos, and more publicity to take this project to a whole nother level. And then, all of the leftover revenue will go to charities for music and arts, like VH1 Save the Music or the National Endowments for the Arts, as well as local organizations and schools that need musical instruments. We'll start by purchasing instruments that our own high school has been in desperate need of for a long time. Our dream is to create a project that would realize our vision of an entire line of splatter pianos, and that would help us support visual and musical arts locally and eventually on a much larger scale. But we can't fulfill this vision without your help, so please, support the Splatter Piano Project. All we need to start is $2,000. That's just a few hundred people donating $5, 10 $15 each. For that, you could go see a movie, or you could help us realize our dream. And of course, there will be incentives for those more generous donors. So please, help us. You can support us with your donations, and you can support us by liking us on Facebook, and following us on Twitter and Google+, and subscribe to us on YouTube. And last but not least, support us by spreading the word. Tell your friends, tell your family. That's what we really need. Thank you in advance for helping us make the Splatter Piano Project come to life.